Hello, and welcome to Cavalex Models' first instructional video for our brand new Class 56 locomotive. Today we're looking at wheelset conversions. Here at Cavalex Models we pride ourselves on the unparalleled levels of detail and accuracy in our models, and for those that want a similar level of fidelity in their track work as well, there is no choice but to switch out the wheelsets for more accurately proportioned EM or P4 versions. All of our stock from day one has been designed with these models in mind, and as such the ability to easily convert our models to run on more accurate track work has been forefront in the design process. However, our first locomotive release, the highly coveted Class 56, has now been made available with the replacement wheel sets in both EM and P4 standards available to purchase for your locomotive. They'll even be included in the box if indicated to the retailer upon order. In the past, it has been a somewhat time-consuming, expensive and arduous task modifying and adapting locomotives to take aftermarket wheel sets. However, with our easy-to-swap-out wheel system, you can now complete the job in less than 5 minutes. Having unclipped the body and set the locomotive chassis on its back, we can begin to do the conversion. Firstly, the lower keeper plate is carefully unclipped from the bogey using a scalpel blade or a small flathead screwdriver to ease away the four retaining clips. This allows the highly detailed bogey side frames to be slid away from the wheel sets along their mounting rails. There's no need to remove them completely, just enough to clear the central axle pickup hubs. When clear, the wheel sets can simply be lifted away. No force is necessary at any point. Once all the wheels have been removed and the replacement EM or P4 wheel sets, P4 in this case, can be placed back into the bogey and the side frames moved inwards to engage onto the pickup hubs. No need to mess around realigning wipe pickups to re-engage with the wheel treads. When all three axles are in, the keeper plate is simply clipped back into place and the bogey is done. The whole conversion has taken just over three minutes and the loco is now ready to take up duty on any EM or P4 layout without any headaches or fuss. Well that's it for today, so if you have any questions relating to the conversion of this or any of our stock to run on EM or P4 standards, please don't hesitate to contact us via email at cavalexmodels at gmail.com or via our various social media accounts. Thank you for joining us, goodbye and see you soon.